After many honours, Henry Dalton was knighted by Queen Victoria in 1887, the first of his craft to be so recognised. Much of the company's corporate and artistic heritage is preserved here in the Sir Henry Dalton Gallery, where the collection is displayed and enlarged at every opportunity under the discerning eye of curator Valerie Bainton. How do you do, Mr McNeil? How do you do? You must be Valerie. That's right. I'm delighted to meet you. We've been looking forward to your visit for a long time, and I'm going to show you around the Sir Henry Dalton Gallery, if you'd like to come this way. Thank you. After you. I'm looking forward to what made Dalton so successful when the factory was established here in Burslem? Well, I think it was the people. They were so tremendously talented. One of the artists most frequently in the limelight from the 1890s onwards was the gifted modeler Charles Noak, who eventually became art director. He modeled many vases for a very big exhibition in Chicago in 1893. Uh, this is the Dante vase and was one of the vases sent to Chicago. That is special, superb. Yes, and it, it is uh, very beautiful, and the amount of work that has gone into creating it is quite incredible. Charles Noak developed a lot of uh, different ranges, such as this lovely flambe vase. It is a unique glaze which we still make today. That is marvellous. He also introduced uh, other popular ranges, such as the series wear and king's wear. Ah, bunnikins. That's right. My son had an egg cup just like that, ooh, 44 years ago. Really? Well, bunnikins was introduced well over 50 years ago, and several pieces here have an interesting story. The teapot is very rare. It was only made for a few years at the end of the 1930s, and the plate was made to commemorate the visit of the Princess of Wales to the factory in 1984. Dalton received the rare and singular honour of incorporating the word royal in its name in 1901, when King Edward VII granted not only this right, but also the first royal warrant as manufacturers of bone china for the royal households. This rare film footage records the royal visit of 1913. When King George V and Queen Mary arrived at Dalton's, and when the Queen caught sight of this little figure, she exclaimed, Isn't he a darling? And of course, he's been called darling ever since. He was the first in a long line of Dalton figures, much loved by collectors all over the world.